I'm sure many of you have heard of the Roket K100 Amo, which is considered to be one of the best budget mice in the world, and possibly the best mouse for bridging. There have been multiple reviews on this mouse, and they say the mouse is amazing for bridging, but none of the people that reviewed this mouse were top bridgers themselves. So in this video, I will be reviewing the Roket K100 Amo from top 10 bridgers perspective, and tell you whether you should or should not buy the Roket K100 Amo in 2022. Make sure to watch the video to the end for cool clips with the mouse as well as the full review. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay everyone, first off, I'll be showing you some bridging clips I got this mouse. These clips were really hard to get and took a long time to get, so I really hope you enjoy it. Okay everyone, so the first thing I want to talk about is the grip this mouse has. The side grips of the mouse feel really, really good. If you're someone whose hands tend to get sweaty all the time, like mine do, I would definitely recommend this mouse because unlike previous mice that I had, such as bloody mice, when my hands get sweaty, the mouse doesn't get flinged out of my hands while I bridge. The second thing that I will talk about are the mouse switches. The Rocket King's tight and click switches are amazing for drag clicking as the switches are super light and barely take any force to click, which is extremely helpful to drag click, and this mouse can get up to 50 CPI. Although it is really hard to get above that due to the 50 CPS cap. This mouse is able to triple click and even quad click, which is absolutely insane, and you're able to get garbage with double or triple clicking easily with this mouse. The third thing that I'll talk about is the shape of the mouse. The mouse fits perfectly in my hands and it's super easy to hold. I'll definitely recommend this mouse if you have small or medium sized hands, but it might be a little hard to hold if you have huge hands. The next thing I'll talk about is how the mouse sounds. This isn't really relevant to bridging, but I must say the mouse sounds absolutely amazing. The RGB on this mouse isn't really impressive, as there is only RGB on scroll wheel, so if you are a person that goes from mice that have a lot of RGB, I would personally wait for the Rokai Cone XB to come out, as that mouse has a lot of RGB. Lots of top bridges use this mouse, or have used it in the past, such as 3Clicks, Dugo, Gecko, myself, and much much more and all the world record holders for bridging have used this mouse in the past or still use it. Finally, I would recommend this mouse, but if you have a little higher budget, I would recommend getting the Rokat Cone XP when that comes out or the Rokat Cone Pro, as those are slightly better. Okay everyone, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and join my Discord server. See you later.